Let's talk about looping with async. One function we would like to test out is called wireless. Wireless is very similar to a while loop with a condition, except that in async, you pass that condition as part of the parameter to the wireless function. So in this example, we have a counter variable we set to zero. And then with async wireless, the first parameter it expects is a function that returns a condition of true or false. So here we want to test if the value of counter is less than five. And if it's true, then this second parameter will be executed called increase counter. So increase the counter, we increase the counter by one. And then here we lock how much, what the value is. And then here we simulate a Ajax request or some sort of heavy processing and then have it finish and calling the callback. When you call the callback, it will continue running until this condition is true. So let's see how this looks like in the terminal. So if you do async wireless here, so it's counting one, two, three, four, and five. So it's counting, it's, well, whenever this condition is true, it will keep running. And when you call the, the callback with the error parameter here, it will exit this loop immediately, like so. And then it will pass that value to the error, to the callback here, and then here you can do further processing. So that's wireless. Another useful loop functionality for um, async is called async forever. Now this is very similar to an infinite while loop or a while loop with a conditional. Here we set a target number to zero, and async forever will run whatever the first function parameter you pass in indefinitely until you call the callback function here with a error parameter in the first parameter. So whenever this is called, it will go to this callback here, the second parameter. So here we're just letting this run from zero to always um, increase by one every time, all the way to 5,000. When it reaches 5,000, it will call the next callback with this error message here, and then log it out. So let's test this out. So it's increasing everything, and then when it gets to 5,000, it will stop and then call the stop callback. So notice this, the number that it stopped at is 4,999. It doesn't actually execute this part when it, um, it's not equal to 5,000. 